Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm here to bring to you another EFC 24-7 news report today. Uh, before we get into any of the news, just want to say, uh, 13 years ago today since Rhys Jones was killed, so uh, thoughts are with his, his family, of course, on this day. A uh, very emotional day for them, obviously a big blues, big Evertonian, so yeah, um, all of our thoughts from the Toffee Blues are with Rhys Jones's family today. But yeah, uh, we'll move on to the news. Uh, well, obviously we've had the friendly today, so we've played Blackpool. And I'm sure the lads will do plenty of content for you to watch on the match. But yeah, I watched it myself. Three three, we were three nil down within eleven minutes, which is absolutely atrocious. It just seemed if you did miss it, it just seemed like typical Everton in the way that we we slow build up trying to play from the back, and we couldn't play very well under the press of even Blackpool, who were a lower league opposition. But I'm sure we'll get there. Um, it seems that that's the way Ancelotti wants to play, so we've got to trust in it. And hopefully our players will become competent in it, but they're not at the moment. Uh, in terms of the players who came off the bench to play, uh, some interesting ones were like, the likes of Balassi finally got his chance. He seemed very keen, he seemed very excited to be on the pitch. And uh, it, it went all right for him. It didn't, it didn't do amazing, he didn't do awfully, but never know, we could get, a, could get a couple of more chances this pre-season. We've obviously got Blackburn next week and, and as well uh, I'll bring to you news of another friendly that's be, just been announced but we'll get to that. So yeah, uh, transfer news today. The main bit of news in terms of transfers seems to be coming out of Corriere, Corriere dello Sport in Italy who say that Everton have discussed the possibility of signing Napoli's Herving Lozano on loan. A player that we were in, in, interested in while he was at PSV when Marcel Brands first came in as director of football and Napoli obviously beat him, beat us to his signature, and he's been there. But the possibility of him leaving on loan and coming to Everton is uh, potentially there, apparently, according to sources in Italy. So that could be on the cards, which is interesting. Other news: Liverpool Lecca reported this morning that Everton are sorting the final details and creating a role for Leighton Baines at the club. Uh, talks have been ongoing, and the position he will be offered has been described as great for the club and himself. So, it. Uh, the role it seems it seems a bit it seems unclear at the moment what the role is, uh, I I don't think it might be a coaching role. I think it might be something, something um newer than that, something more innovative. I think potentially, but we'll see. It's not been announced yet. But uh, Denise Barrett Baxendale has said whenever, whenever news is uh, is is ready to be announced, it will be and will be it will be the first to know, which is great. Uh, yeah, as as I said, we have announced uh, another friendly as well. Everton will play Preston North End in a behind closed doors friendly at Goodison Park, so that'll be our only home friendly. Uh, obviously behind closed doors, though, so no fans, unfortunately. On the fifth of September with a three pm kick off, so that'll be the week before the Premier League starts. We'll be playing Preston North End at Goodison behind closed doors. Uh, yep, yeah, more transfer news. Everton are set to open. This is according to Paul Joyce, who is obviously quite a respectable source. Uh, Everton are set to open discussions over a new contract for Michael Keane. There has been no contact from Barcelona despite him recently being linked. Uh, obviously when Ronald Koeman was announced as Barcelona manager, there were links. Uh, there were, I think there were three players reported that there were, there were to be Koeman's main target. I think one of them was Memphis Depay, one of them was Donny van der Beek and another one was Michael Keane. He reported to be a target, a centre-back target. How do Barcelona need some strength at centre back at the moment in the whole of the fence really, but uh, there's been no contact from Barcelona despite those rumours. I think that's just a a a player Cumin liked working with in the past, but whether he wants to bring him to Barcelona is something completely different. But yeah, that's according to Paul Joyce. Uh, other news today uh, is that Gabriel uh, is closing in on a move to Arsenal, and the the Gunners are hoping to complete a. Uh, £27 million move for the player next week, according to the Independence, uh, after Man Manchester United's interest has stalled in the centre-back. So, yeah, it seems that Everton had a deal in place pretty much before coronavirus, but that was uh, thrown up in the air by the pandemic and its financial implications, unfortunately. So we've missed out on Gabriel, and he is set to join Arsenal. But, yeah, apart from that, uh, the under-23s had a friendly against uh, Runcorn Town today. And I think they won seven nil. Nathan Broadhead scored five of those. So I know the promising player. He spent the back end of last season out on loan uh, at Burton Albion, and he was injured for a lot of the time. But he was positive in his performances there. But 
future first team. I mean, never know. He could, he could join up with the first team after that impressive showing. But I'm, I'm sure he'll be a, 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 a important player for David David, David Unsworth's on the 23 should he stay and not get another low move but to be honest I can see him get another low move ahead of next season but yeah that's pretty much all the news coming out of Everton Football Club today uh, let us know what you think of the rumours what you thought of the friendly as well obviously uh, obviously we pulled it back 3-3 in the end after a really disappointing start but some positive performances in there I thought Jonas Lowe so they quit pretty well he came on for uh, Jordan Pickford in the second half and I thought He's 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 not a bad Premier League keeper. If you want to keep Jordan Pickford on his toes and make him make him make him think that he's not undroppable, if he if he has to make these mistakes, then he can be dropped. But yeah, that's uh, all the news I got to bring to you today. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe to the Toffee Blues if you're not already. Like the video and join us next time on the Toffee Blues.